Hey there, it's Brittany. Um, I finally got together my two new um, drawer units. I'm not showing the rest of my room because it's a hot mess. As you can tell from the top of that, like the, the, the top of that represents the rest of my room. It's all a hot mess. But I'm in the middle of trying to organize everything. So you can see I have some beads on the floor in bins that were originally in these drawers. Um, I'm still trying to decide what the heck I'm gonna do. I, this second set right here is all gemstones for now. I mean, I think it's pretty much gonna stay all gemstones, but um, for now it's all gemstones. I'll take you through through them really quickly. I'm not gonna show you everything because they're not done, they're not finished. So I'll just kind of show you everything I have so far. Oh gosh, shadows are horrible. <laughs> and then, um, so the first drawer is all pink gemstones. Originally I was gonna do pink and red, but I actually ended up having a lot more pink than I thought I did. And this actually gives me room to grow, even though I don't need room, like, I don't, I should not ever grow. <laughs> but this will have room to grow. I'm going to the Tucson Beach Joes this weekend, so yeah, I got my vaccine today. So I'm excited about that. Um, so second drawer, is orange red and yellow so red orange yellow I just turned out that I had these wonderful things from the Dollar Tree they're three segments they're trays and three of them oh two of them fit in here along with one of the um, smaller ones so the yellow went in the smaller ones they are not organized at all literally I pulled them out of the drawers they were in and I put them in here just for now until I can get them organized so second drawer red orange yellow third drawer all green so these are just green gemstones eventually i think i'm going to get more like this i actually did get some more today but only four of them and they that's all the dollar tree i went to today had and i think um like i'll do by green like not by gemstone itself but let's say like this lighter green versus darker green they'll all each have a section in within their own drawer so just kind of i know there are some shadows so I'm sorry but it's just kind of showing you a little bit what's going on here um, next is the money shot <laughs> this is my favorite drawer in the entire room however lately it's been the one I've least been I've been using the least because I just it's not as organized as it should be so what you can see is like the top layer but there are large bags within the the drawer so this one's like all shapes of turquoise beads so we have pumpkins we have flowers but then I have like this bag that's all rounds in all sorts of sizes but unfortunately I don't like to organize like after I make a project so I just kind of throw stuff back in so I've never even used these like cheetah guys but they're not in the, where they should be. They should be in this bag with the, the shapes. So anyway, this needs to be organized, but this is my favorite drawer in the entire room. And it will always be my favorite drawer in the entire room. Um, next drawer is blue. So in, in blue, I also included like Amazonite and sometimes that can be a little bit green, but it just didn't, it was more blue. Like if I had green Amazonite, I think I had like these. These are, I think are even simulated. Um, I put them in the blue drawer so it goes from light to blue light to dark I think I'm gonna do that exact same thing that I'm doing um, with the green and segment it even further it was just to get things out of this set and into the new set for now next we have purple and cream and actually purple should go on this side and then cream it's just a whole Roy G Biv thing in my brain but I literally just put these in today because cream gray brown and black and white and clear were all in that bottom drawer so I'm in the middle of still organizing those so cream is here and I just use a flat tray from the Dollar Tree to keep those on for now and the cool thing is I can just take this tray out if I want to and then purple look these are the new beads from um, the re most recent bargain bee box next drawer I don't oh I did is all brown I actually was gonna put brown and cream together but and blue and purple together but I ended up having too much blue um, and I had way too much brown so cream and purple went together brown is its own bin I have a lot of a lot of tiger eye all sorts of different stuff going on in here and I think yeah that's it so far so then on the floor I have white 
clear black and then I also have this bin that's gray so grayish grayish black whatever so um, those will I think um, I, I don't know how that's gonna go <laughs> Uh, because I have one, two, let's see, I have five drawers left. So I need white, cream, clear, I'm sorry, white, clear, gray, black, that's four things. And then I have, I need a drawer for freshwater pearls and a drawer for coral and a drawer for multicolor because I have them somewhere. I have them in here. I don't have too many, but I might mix that with black for now just to save on a drawer so this one has vacated drawers <laughs> and sorry I might have my really messy desk over here or not even desk cart but here is the drawer organizer that I use for my pearls get out of the way here so these are freshwater pearls sorry about the shadow and then here's my coral drawer so those are each going to be incorporated into their own drawer um, but these are you've seen these if you saw my live that one time these are i'm sorry i'm trying to get my shadow out of the way these are all my metal pendant mom well, yeah i think this is most of my metal pendants and i put them in these clear organizers one day we will go through each one of these drawers i'm just kind of showing you um what i've already shown you before but you know it goes from brass to gold to um, gun metal and silver and we have some enamel in the back turquoise and copper and um, even some acrylic in there and then the next one has all my oh my goodness I almost knocked everything down um, colorful pendants and focals so it goes from it's Roy G Bev so pink all the way down to white so that's that and then this one, I'm trying to decide what to do. Do I want to, this is bone and horn. And I'm trying to decide if I want to separate the colors from the natural colors. Uh, I haven't decided yet. I have enough room in this drawer, barely for these, but it's hard for me to showcase like my favorites in this drawer when there is so much going on. So there's actually like a little divider thing here that has nicer bone beads. Like, I think I got these as a gift um, from, I can't remember, I'm so sorry. I usually mark them, but um, like nicer bone beads. This one's actually faux bone, but put it in here anyway. So I, I don't know, I think we'll eventually end up splitting these, but I am trying to think about it right now. Next, we have African. So again, I'm trying to decide what I'm gonna do with this because I have all of these really nice pieces that are not necessarily all African, but they're tribal. But all of this, all of these right here are my African strands, but they're also on top of all of my chevron strands. So I'm thinking, what I'm thinking is, I'll actually end up making this stuff its own drawer and then putting these two, like chevron here, African on this side, which is what I had before, and then I had the bright idea to do all this mess. So <laughs> those I think will get um, split up. Next, oh, this is these, I think from here on in, they're empty because the all the gemstones were in there. So um, let me know what you thought, <laughs> what you think. Actually, some of the other stuff that needs to be incorporated, and I'll show you. Um, these used to be stacked on top of each other next to the wider, one of the wider uh, units over there so um, let's see so we have wire in here I don't know what I'm gonna do with that and it's, this is not all my wire this was just kind of like overflow wire um, these are all filigrees I got to go through this stuff I kind of just threw it in here but all different types of filigrees I used to use this all the time when I sold on Etsy like a necklace always started with a filigree um, next is like cord so like rat tail cord and then cord like ends for necklaces. So necklace tops, like it's just easy to do your beading and then you add on the cord ends. Um, I have some hemp in here. Can't remember where I got that. Maybe Candy Cooper, I'm not sure. Um, like Kumihimo stuff is in here. Not all of it, but some of it is. Empty, 
empty. So this one was on the bottom. Now this one, oh, I, I'm also going to be putting charms in that larger one. I think I had charms in here, but I'm trying to figure out how they fit into my new dynamic over there. So this is the C drawer. Sorry, I'm trying to get it so you guys can see it. Um, and by C, I mean it's like shell, sea glass, all of my pendants and junk. So I think this is all going to get split up into their own, own drawers. So it's like sea glass and maybe shell in one and then like the pendants in another. Like, I don't know. There's a method to my madness, but I haven't really figured that out yet. So then next, <laughs> this one's wood. Um, I hate this. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I, I, I think... What I'll do is a wood drawer that's just like wood color and then painted wood beads because I mean originally all these painted wood beads were in their own color drawers but that wasn't working for me like all of my beads that are not like the special gemstones African things like that acrylic glass those are all in color order on the other side of my my room and that side's a mess so you can't see it right now but yeah this is a full drawer like it's full so I have to figure that out. I think it's gonna be two different drawers. And this is polymer clay stuff. So not all of my polymer clay stuff, but most of it is in here. It's got my polymer clay heishi beads, my own artisan beads. Um, the only beads that are not in here are artisan beads by others. They have their own spot in their own cases, in my bookcases, which I'm not showing today. So that needs to be organized too so anyway thought i'd take you on a little tour of my hot mess express right now um thanks for watching let me know what you'd like to see um i'm eventually going to organize those drawers um and i'd be happy to show them to you but you know i never know what you guys want to see so um i hope to see you in the next video have a good rest of your day stay tuned for goldie bye bye what were you doing honey you look so guilty <laughs> i came downstairs after filming this video and she ran and got in her bed. And I don't know why, but she looks so guilty. Yeah. That's shame on your face, isn't it? We still love you, Goldie.